Most individuals want access to great education. They want access to great health care if they're sick. And just like that, they really want to live in a safe, decent, and affordable community. And so the work that we do as affordable housing developers is truly transformational. We don't see ourselves as just a real estate developer. We have a holistic approach to real estate development and affordable housing. We not only focus on building buildings, but building people's futures. And in that, we work on economic opportunity for the communities we serve. Baton Rouge is home. I started my development career almost 20 years ago, developing housing throughout the Southeast region. And after moving back to Baton Rouge in 2016, I wanted to see those developments in my own backyard. One of the developments that I'm extremely excited about is the Weiler Baptist Church. It consists of an old sanctuary and an educational facility. So we are developing the church and the educational facility into 50 units of senior housing. Beachwood Residential was approved for a pre-development line of credit through Lyft's Black Developer Capital Initiative. This line of credit is truly transformational for my company. Lyft came to the table throughout this process truly as a partner. Sometimes lenders, it can feel like they're looking for a way to say no. Lyft had a totally different approach. Through this process, they truly were looking at my experience, my capacity, and my track record, and that weighed more heavily than my financials. And so that's a totally different process than the typical underwriting process. The Nanny Helen at 4800 is a project that we developed really from cradle to grave for a third party client that was completed in 2013. We really had a catalytic effect on this neighborhood, which is really the intent when you go into these neighborhoods to start your project and hope everyone else comes to the table and starts redeveloping that community. I want to acknowledge um, your vision in, in hiring a, a woman to help you lead this project. It's not Our role in the Beacon Center project was to help develop it from soup to nuts. Essentially working with a church community development organization, this project was so meaningful to us, I think, and the community, because the land that this church sits on was land that was once owned by a free black woman. As a black developer, I face so many obstacles. One of the obstacles I face consistently and continuously is securing financing for my projects. Uh, there's such thing as access to capital and securing capital, two very different things. When I first met Brian Robinson with NAHT, my balance sheet was a non-issue. It's usually the first question a bank asks. Brian did not ask that. He basically focused on talking to me about what's important to me and what I've achieved over 20 years. So it's amazing when an institution can offer a product like that that's focused on my experience and my character. The Lyft free development line of credit is crucial because it gives you the money you need upfront versus having to bring in a development partner who now has more control over your deal because you didn't have the money you needed just to execute on the project. On average, a deal in Louisiana could cost anywhere between 15 to $20 million to develop. In order to access the construction financing or the financing you need to develop the community, there's a significant amount of upfront costs. Clearly, what you have here is exactly what we're going for. So an example of that would be your architect. You have to have full construction drawings before you can close on the financing you need. The truth is this pre-development line of credit allows me now to be at the table as a true development partner. It levels the playing field. I'm bringing more to the table than just my experience. I'm really excited about this relationship with NAHT because they're providing my organization with the support that traditional banks will not provide. My firm is now on a different trajectory. The experience that I'm having now with partners like NAHT and Lyft will set me on a path to control my own destiny, something I have been unable to do for the last two decades.